Hi, this is Klana Bear. In this video series, we will create a complex day-night cycle. That means it will be, if you want to, be realistic or like close to realistic. Um, it will feature seasons. The sun will be low in the winter and high in the summer. It will have a clock. It will have a calendar. Um, it will have a realistic length of the day. Um, Day night, like you can have a polar day if you want it to be at the polar circle, or it can be at the equator. And the trajectory will always be mostly realistic. So with the just with the eye, you will not notice any difference. Um, in this video, we will first um, start creating the basics of the blueprint and of our level. So first thing I do is I make the floor bigger at a scale of 10 times 10. Oops, not 120, 10 times 10. Um, so I have like kind of an horizon that gives me an idea if I'm correct with my trajectory. I also delete the uh, blueprint sky sphere that is from the engine. And I replace it with my own custom blueprint sky sphere that I have here. I will place it at zero zero zero. Um, if you maybe don't have your custom blueprint sky sphere yet, there should be a link in a box somewhere in the video um, that shows you how to do that. I assume by now you have watched the video and have your own blueprint sky sphere placed in a level at zero zero zero, and now you can reference the light source for the blueprint sky sphere. Well done. Now we will create our own blueprints. So right click in the folder that I want. In my case it's environment, and I will create an actor blueprint. Um, I will call it complex day night tutorial. And now we place it in the level. I also place it at zero, zero, zero because I don't know. I just do it. And I open it. Wrong window. I have two. We start in the viewport, so we change to the event graph. You can use the event tick that is already there. If you don't have it, you just right click and type in event tick. That's the same thing. This blueprint for the day night cycle will work with a variable that is just counting up, counting up, constantly counting up in seconds. And that will be kind of the engine, the motor of the whole day-night cycle. How do we do that? Um, we take the uh, delta seconds and add them up into a, a variable. That variable we have to create, and I call it sun drive. If you have watched a different video, you're already familiar with that. I drag it as a set and as a get. And so it's just delta seconds plus float, in this case, plus sun drive. I connect it, and that's all there is. However, um, this will be um, for the length of day and maybe we want a day that is like three hours four hours maybe even 24 hours or a minute so we don't want to count in seconds all the time so I create a new variable that I call time unit nope time unit and I drag it as a get and I will divide the delta seconds by the time unit and if I divide them by one, it will still be 
seconds does nothing, but divided by 60 will be minutes and by uh, 3600 it will be hours. So that prevents us from having really high numbers on the sun drive and the length of the day. I now compile and set the default value for the time unit to 1. That's important because if you don't it might be still be 0 and then nothing will happen. Now for this video, uh, for this day-night cycle, I have another thing. I will have a dyna dynamic uh, sun declination. So a lot of values will be calculated um, while it's running, not only at the end of the day. And for that we will do a thing. Um, we will have an hour counter and a day counter that will reset themselves at the end of the day or at the end of the year. So first we need a variable that defines the length of a day. I call it Sunday duration. And that's not because of Sundays, like the day of the week, but because I will also have moon days, because I want to add in a moon layer in one of the next videos. So I drag the sun duration. And I divide the delta seconds by the sun duration. And then I will multiply them with 24. 24 because um, that will be for the clock. I create a new variable that I call clockwork. And I add the modified delta seconds that are in the 24 time frame to clockwork. And then I set clockwork. But now this variable would be the same as the sun drive. It was just count up until 100, 1 million, until I reset it to zero. That is not what I want here. So I do something different. Instead of just setting it with clockwork, I divide, but not just the normal division, but this division, whole and remainder. divided by 24 and what that does is the input value is 0, 1, 2, 3 and always with decimal digits like 3.12, 3.5, whatever and it gets divided by 24 and I get two outputs the remainder like if it's 10, 10.12, whatever and I divide it by 24 the remainder will be the same as before, 10.12. And the return value are the holes, like if it, the value is 24, and I divide by 24, the remainder is 0, and the return value is 1. I only I am interested in the remainder for the clockwork, because then um, it will reset itself and just count from 0 to 23.99 and then reset itself to zero. I then used the return value because those are in the days, full 24 hours, there's always one. <coughs> yeah, save it. And I create a new variable and I call it internal sun days. And I make it an a integer, drag it as get, 
and I add the return value to my internal Sundays and then I convert it to a float and I divide again whole and remainder div there it is whole and remainder as these are the days the divisor um, will be the number of days in a year so I need a new variable for that call it sun year duration make it a float could of course be an integer it will only have full days but and I make it editable but having it as a float is more convenient for calculating and I'm also still not only interested in the remainder that I will convert to a um, integer with a floor node and then I will set the internal Sundays And that's it for the motor. So this one just counts up until I set it to zero. This one resets itself when it's almost 24. Or like, instead of being 24, it will be zero again. And this one as well, it is zero. And then when it's um, like 365, for example, should set that as a default value, by the way. Um, Instead of being 365, it will be zero again. Same here, Sunday duration, set a default value of like 24. That way you avoid that something is zero because then nothing happens and you don't know why. Okay, that's the first part of this video. In the next video, we will um, start construction, constructing the actual formulas for the trajectory of the sun and we built here the motor for that uh, trajectory. Okay, stay tuned for the next video.